as you can see, I start applying the, the masks for the white and uh, they don't stretch all the way from the front of the wing to the root of the wing. So we will need to do some masking with some Tamiya tape on these areas here, here. Um, that mask that goes here, I cannot see the number on the instructions. I can see the 87 which is masking the blue, but there is nothing to mask the white. So there are some discrepancies, some mistakes, some errors on the, um, the deck on the masks. So let's see how we're getting on. And um, it's easier to do it without recording the same time because my hand is going to be all over. So I'm going to come back and show you how it looks after all the masking. Show you a little bit, a little bit of the progress. I use some masking tape to close the gaps. Uh, again, I cannot find the part that masks the white bit here. Cannot find that. 96, that's wrong. Uh, one, uh, that's wrong again. Uh, so really, you have to be very careful. You have to keep checking the, the instructions with what's on the masks because they are completely wrong. Um, it looks very rash. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Um, you need to really study where what goes where. Um, otherwise, it's going to be in a big trouble. So I'll keep um, putting them on and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. So I put um, the masks. As you can see, they require a bit of um, masking tape to close the gaps between them. Um, it's not for the beginner or the intermediate modeler. It has to be an experienced modeler to put them on. Uh, they're complicated. I would prefer the um, not vinyl ones. I would prefer kabuki tape. They stretch better. So, yes, not excited, but they are good, they are good. So let's see with the paint on. So I'm going to use as a base color Guns H25. That's it for the first layer of blue, we'll let it dry and then we'll do the highlights and the shadows on the flag. As you can see, we finished with the highlights and the shadows on the flag. Uh, I wasn't um, impressed with the masks, um, there was a bit of string, string cuts, they didn't fit nicely so we had to use masking tape from Tamiya, move them around, find um, parts that match and they look okay and spray and take it out uh, not happy at all um, so i wouldn't recommend the masks um, i don't know uh, not, not happy uh, it's a bit striking the effect so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a bit of very diluted h25 and go over just to break down the strikingness of the highlights and the shadows It 
it's time now to remove the masks and see what happens.